So I got a text and it says, P.S. There's some other part of the message. At the bottom it says, P.S. Maybe you could make gnocchi on your YouTube. I did it, but I am sure some Italian granny rolled over in her grave at my form. Okay, let's make gnocchi. Okay, so these have been simmering at this speed for an hour. It's been exactly an hour. And you can see my water is pretty much evaporated like down to the top of the potatoes. And I'm gonna give them a test with a butter knife. I wanna be able to stab through it, you know, kind of slide it out. I could use a paring knife too. Oh yeah, that's nice. And I wouldn't wanna start just stabbing these at any point in time. I know they're gonna take like 45 minutes to an hour. So this is the first time I'm actually testing them. They haven't like split apart and blown out because we've gone so slow and gentle, like the skins aren't all over the place. If we'd stabbed them earlier to test them prematurely, then our skins will probably start splitting out and then they'd start absorbing water, which is what we wanna avoid. Okay, so I can slide a knife into these easily, except for the big one, maybe where I got just a little stuck on the angle that I was going. Um, but I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna let them cool off and then we're peel them out of their jackets. All right, so what do we need? We need our potatoes that are already, they're cooked, they're cooled, they're food milled, they're ready to go, all-purpose flour, one egg, and a little bit of Reggiano, a little Parmesan. We're gonna flour up our surface. So if your potatoes are warm, you gotta get them cooled down, otherwise you're gonna make really gummy gnocchi. And we're gonna have to be, you know, we're, we don't wanna go too much flour, but you need enough to make it so that everything sticks together. And we're gonna pour all the, the potatoes out and we're gonna make kind of a, a well to put our egg in. It's right in the middle, making an egg well. So if we have three like medium sized russet potatoes, uh, you're probably gonna need like a third cup of like of the grated Parmesan, like the finer, finer one. Um, somewhere in that neighbor, neighborhood, quarter cup or so, maybe a third. But I'm gonna grade mine, grate mine up fresh. This is also an option. If you got a chunk of Parmesan and a microplane, this is an essential kitchen tool. If you don't have one, order one. We'll put a link in. And I don't need to go crazy with it. I just wanna add some of that acidity to the gnocchi. And this is also an opportunity to get salt in because when we cook the potatoes, in the jackets, it's hard to get any salt in. The jackets really block out the salt. I know, I seasoned my water. Of course I did. Um, here we go, nice big pinch. And I don't need to get it perfect here because when we cook them in the water, our water will be salted too, of course. A little bit of flour. And one egg. So I have four eggs here from the garden. That's a duck egg. I'm actually gonna use a duck egg because I have it. I'm not gonna get to use duck eggs for much longer because I know our ducks are gonna start sitting soon. So I'm gonna use a duck egg. One large egg is good enough. Don't need a duck egg. I'm just doing it because I can. Um, I know a duck egg is gonna have just a touch more yolk, but that'll work. Okay, so we have our egg in the middle in like this well. We're gonna just kind of mash it up a little bit. And we're bring everything to the middle, kind of mash it down. And we're, we're trying to be delicate, but 
it's going to get mushed together. We're making, it's a potato dumpling. And if we don't get everything to stick together, your gnocchi is just going to fall apart. So yes, I'm going to need more flour, but it's easy to add flour next to impossible to take it away. So this is going to get worked quite a bit now, you know, like by hand, we're working it. And then when we go to roll it, that is also working the starch. I want more flour. So being gentle here is kind of, kind of important. Okay, so notice how I end up using my hands here. More like paddles versus like claws and, you know, grasping through the dough. Uh, I want to fold it over itself and then over itself and incorporate the flour in this way versus, you know, trying to beat it up or, you know, squish it together. And, you know, as you fold it over itself, you're going to feel it get wet as it absorbs the flour and then you can add some more. Uh, I think all in, you'll probably need a cup and a quarter to a cup and a half of flour in this phase of establishing the dough. You'll need more to roll it and then to paddle them. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to put a little flour over it. I'm going to put a towel over it. I'm going to let it rest for a little bit before I roll them out. Just let it relax a little and clean up my space. And then we'll roll out some gnocchi and then we'll push them against our paddle, roll them off our paddle, make that cute little shape that holds the sauce. We'll take it from there. Okay, gnocchi, let's go. Let's see, how is my ball of gnocchi? Oh, it's a little wet. Hmm. We need flour, generous amount of flour. Hmm. Okay, gnocchi is, how's it feeling? Hmm, it's a little sticky. I probably could have been a little more generous with the flour, but I think we're gonna be okay. And I'm gonna flour this up so it's easier to handle. Your hands are going to become a mess here. There's just kind of no way around it. I thought I had a knife. I need a little knife. Trusty serrated paring knife. Okay, so we're going to cut these into like strips and we'll roll them out and then we'll cut them into, you know, dumplings. Hey, my knife's wet. I want a wet knife. Let's see. Let's go. So these will expand in the water when you cook them. So you don't want to make them too big now, otherwise you're gonna have massive gnocchi, unless that's what you're going for. But the bigger they are, the longer they take to cook, and then you could risk kind of blowing out the, uh, the sides of them or something, uh, waiting for the inside to get cooked through. That should work. Okay, so we're gonna cut them, yeah, what would we say? About a thumb? Thumb width, strip. All right, so I got a bunch of strips. I'm gonna make some space and then we'll get rolling. A little flour. And we're not really doing anything fancy here. We're just rolling it into like a finger thick uh, you know, snake worm strip. And then we're gonna come across and we're gonna cut them. Helps get a little flour on your knife. I'm looking for pillows about that big. So what would I say? About the size of the first bend in your finger, like that tip of your finger big. All right, so I got a bunch of little pillows and they do look like little pillows. Give them a little flower just so I can move them around. Then I'll roll this other piece out and then we'll just put these across the, actually maybe I'll do one more and then we'll do a batch on the paddle. OK, 
Okay, finger, finger thick strip, roll, clean my knife up, a little flour on it, keep it dry. That's a big one. That's okay, they don't have to be perfect. I want to keep them the same, similar size. All right, paddle. So I want to go from a diagonal, from corner to corner. Let's see if I can show you. Boom. So I'm going to put it on the paddle, and I'm going to use my thumb to push the corner down and push the other corner down, and it'll roll off with these little cute grooves on it onto my tray. And i got a tray over here. Okay, flour tray, and we're just going to roll these gnocchi onto the tray. You're going on a bit of a diagonal. The end pieces will be a little weird, but they'll be fine. And the little thumb push that you're doing is creating a pocket for sauce to collect in. Uh, you know, you want to give it a firm push, but not so firm that... But not so firm that you're like smearing it on the on the paddle. And this is all pretty easy, but I'll be honest, gnocchi is not my favorite type of pasta. I would never go out and order gnocchi. Um, I'll eat it if you serve it to me, but I don't know what it is. I guess uh, even when they are absolutely the best they can possibly be, they're still like a little bit on, I don't know, the mushy side, lacking texture. So, not my favorite. But they're, they're pretty easy. Pretty easy to make. All right, there's a batch all rolled out on the tray. Let me give them an extra dusting of flour just so they don't start sticking to each other. And we'll roll out some more and we'll do it again. Okay, we got a pot of boiling water. Salted boiling water. Tastes like the ocean, almost. Now we're just making a small little bowl of gnocchi for lunch. Obviously we made a huge tray of gnocchi, which would certainly